know, since Houston Valley Center for Dance opened nearly a year ago, I think what's been such a sense of shared pride for every dancer in the company and every person who works for the company is, you know, we've always known that we've had this amazing company. You know, we always say we're the fourth uh, largest company in the country um, and we talk about our successes and, and, and we have had brilliant successes. But now we're in this, you know, kind of platinum encased facility and it's like walking into a new home. You feel all of a sudden like, hey, I, I've arrived and, and it really validates, you know, how great of a company we have to be in a home that matches the level of the artistry of the company. You know, Houston Ballet Academy has always had uh, a world-class faculty. Um, what we didn't have was a world-class facility. And now we have built the finest center for dance on the planet. We're poised for tremendous growth and we're really positioned to be the finest training center for classical dance in the country. Since we opened the uh, Center for Dance uh, in April of 2011, the Academy enrollment has grown by nearly 20%. And I think that, you know, parents who, who maybe are thinking about enrolling their children in, in the Houston Ballet Academy, you know, drive by this iconic building and, um, you know, just like you would any elite university that has immaculate grounds, you, you feel like, oh, I definitely want to send my kids there. You know, we have world-class faculty, uh, and now we have a world-class facility to house our academy. One of the, the greatest things about being in this spectacular new facility is you have an, a, a huge influx of guests, guests from all over the world, from all areas of the globe. And once they pick their jaws up off the floor, uh, they, they, they just can't believe what Houston has built, this amazing icon to dance. And, and so when these people leave and they go back to London, then they go back to Paris and they go back to New York, they're telling all of their colleagues, a real priority for the company as we move into the next decade will be to continue to raise the international profile of the company. We've uh, we had one of the highlights of the past two decades, uh, the historic 1995 tour to China. Uh, the company was seen on the Bolshoi stage. We had a six-city tour to Spain. You know, these, these, these spectacular achievements for the company need to propel us into the next decade to be seen by international audiences.